Lovely Georgia lies between the Caucasus Mountains and the Black Sea. So in this video, I will be sharing about the trip to Caucasus region of Georgia. If you love being with the mountains, then this place is perfect for you. Despite its ramshackle infrastructure, getting around Georgia is easy. Planning a self-drop car this way, and it's Mr. Mo who had always been our good driver. Well, on the way, military firing training was going on. So we were stopped by some army military because there is some uh, uh, fire going on. So we were to stop at. So we will be waiting here for like 20 to half an hour. I don't know how long we have to wait. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. Savanti province is the highest inhabited area in the Caucasus region. Four of the ten highest peak of the Caucasus are located in this region. Historically, Mistia has always been regarded as chief community of Zemo. In Mistia, fortified towers adjacent to their house can be seen. These towers were built during the time of unrest to stay safe. When there were fighting going on, they could go and hide in the tower until the war over. They are today a symbol of entire Savanity region. After Mistia, we moved to Ushkulir. It is a village community in the Georgian region of Svaniti and has the title of Europe's highest settlement. The drive from Mistia to Ushkulir is one of the roughest roads I have ever seen, but it was too distracted by its beautiful sceneries. Landslide recovery was going on and we hiked to Ushkulir around 3 kilometers from the halfway. From the distance, we saw Svaniti Towers. Ushukli village consists of four smaller villages lies in the mountains of the Great Caucasus and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Around 250 inhabitants of Ushukli make their living from agriculture and tourism. It is high summit in Georgia with very beautiful valley. The Swanitin Tower in Shakara Mountain Glacier offers a majestic view. Now we are on the way to Kasbiki. The route to Kasbiki was spectacular. The mountain is named after Alexander Kasbiki. The heart of the Caucasus with diverse landscape ranging from high mountain peaks, ancient churches, cathedral and monastery and some recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites and snow-capped mountain, rainbow and waterfall were spectacular. I am at the one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's called Caucasian Mountain and this place is in Georgia. So the place right now is we are on the way to our hotel and we just stopped the car by nearby. And back of me, if you can follow my finger, that is the Caucasian Mountain and this mountain divides Asia and Europe. Uh, when we were on the way to our hotel, we have seen a full season in just one day. The next morning, we left for famously situated church, the Girgiti Trinity Church. The road seems to be steeper and the route was thorough lovely sceneries, steep valley and high peaks. This architectural complex from the 14th century is located in the village of Girgiti, which is 6 km from Stepan Minna. Its isolated location on the top of the steep mountain, surrounded by the vastness of nature, has made it symbol for Georgia. The complex includes Holy Trinity Cathedral, constructed in the 14th century, the bell tower built in the 14th century, and a clergy house from the 15th century. It was well worth the effort. The Kasvigi Mountain, the highest in Georgia, at over 5,047 meters. Uh, from here, we are going to Vladikavkaz in uh, Russia. So this place you can uh, 
you could just come here and there are lots of cars going to Vladikavkaz. So it's uh, only 200 kilometers from here to Vladikavkaz and you can just uh, grab cars and it's like easy to find a car from Georgia to Russia. Now we are toward the largest country on the earth, Russia. A sharing taxi is easily available from Tiflis. But before crossing the Georgia-Russian border, a valid Russian visa is a must. We departed to Brosny, Chechnya through the Caucasus. Here everything is clean, everything is tidy, there are police everywhere. Chechnya is not very alcohol tolerant at all. Maybe because of the Muslim dominant region. However, you can try kvass. It is a traditional Russian beverage typically produced from rye or dried rye bread, which can be found everywhere in Russia. In the heart of the city sits this very impressive and ornate structure, one of the largest mosques in Russia, and a very beautiful, peaceful, and pretty place indeed. Officially, it's called Ahmad Kakdurov Mosque. After the former president, this is universally known as the Heart of Chechenia Mosque. And next we visited to Ahmad Kakhtarov Museum. It is memorial and museum. He was in power for a short time before his mother. Kakhtarov was a dominant figure in the path of Chechen state for the independence focused to a very loyal part of the Russian Federation. After that, we visited to Svitochny Park. A very beautiful place for relaxing and walking. We are surprised by the work of the people who served it. Under the hot sun, women crosses flower creating this beauty. From here, we begin our Russian trip. And see you in next video.